Amen. Amen. Louder, Amen. Amen. Let's all have a seat. Please listen very attentively. I have just very few minutes. Lagos is the international headquarters where we have the base of our Father in the Lord. One day, he was in the car and he was being driven. The driver was driving. But at a kind of bend, there was a kind of traffic delay. Then briefly, he was still sitting in the car. He just looked out through the window. And then there was a bus stop there. A man was standing there at the bus stop. Immediately, our father and the Lord saw him. Remember, he was just sitting in the car. The man was there at the bus stop. He knew that the man had a great problem. And then, he looked at the man so that the man could look at him. The man now looked at the car and looked at where our father and the Lord was sitting at the back of the car. And their eyes met. And then, our father and the Lord did something. He just waved like this. Immediately, he waved. He knew the problem was solved. Wait, 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 just wait. Then he prayed and said, Lord, bring him to Bagada. Bagada, the international headquarters, to come and testify. The man eventually came to Bagada and he said, when the pastor waved at him, he had had a very grievous, terrible, great problem. But as he waved at him, no prayer, no touch, no communication, just a wave, just a wave. The problem did what? disappear now i'm just talking at the alpha location you are sitting face to face with the carrier of power i don't see anything that can hinder your testimony tonight i've not finished i've not finished they took the cloth the suit of our father and the lord to a dry cleaner and then the person who took the cloth was saying Please don't delay. You know, this is the cloth of Pastor Kumuyi. Somebody was there who was listening, listening in on the conversation. As he heard, this is the cloth of Pastor Kumuyi, he jumped, grabbed the suit, and then drew it to his body. His problem disappeared immediately. The final one, because of the limitation of time, there are so many. The final one has to do with me. I was still at a duty post in Nigeria then. Then I went, as we used to do, we had the privilege of seeing our father in the latter, a combined Sunday worship service. So, after the combined worship service, uh, Sunday worship service, I was privileged to see him. And after he had finished counseling me, then he said, when are you traveling back to your duty post? I told him, he said something, journey messes as you go. Now, as I had to, you know, fly to the capital city and then from there travel, I would take a number of hours to my duty post. As we were going, the brother driving, he didn't know that that bend was very, very sharp. By the time we saw it, it was too late. The car went off the road and we started going into the dish. Go into the dish, go into the dish. Terrible accident. But I kept on saying, Jesus, Jesus. Then the car stopped finally. Then I carried my leg, I carried my hand. Nothing had happened. Then I asked the driver, How are you? He said, It's okay. He came out. I came out. Within some little time, we saw people coming with bike. They said they had in town. The sound of that vehicle going down that dish, that many people have died in accident in that dish. It's a dangerous dish. I think the government has tried to resolve the problem, the sharpness and all that with that dish. So they came around that night. When they look at us, they ask, who are the people inside this car? I said, who are the ones? <laughs> they were just looking at us as if we are strangers from another planet. But do you know why I'm sharing the testimony? Johnny messes as you go that simple pronouncement saved our lives tonight you will hear pronouncement you will receive prayer tell somebody as for me 
I'm just waiting to testify tonight. Tell somebody like that. Tell somebody, as for me, I'm just waiting to testify tonight. You can't miss it. Now we are going to rise up as we receive the anointed servant of the Most High God, our own Father, the Lord, the Convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. You are blessed already. And I say to everyone, journey mercies as you go. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone here, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over the television. Oh Lord, tonight, miracles of mercy, miracles of power, miracles that is needed by everyone in Jesus' name. This final day finalize every problem in every life. Heal every sickness on anyone and save everyone and put us in the path of righteousness from tonight in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 13, and I'm reading from verse 8. Hebrews 13, we're looking at verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever yesterday past today present and forever perpetually i come to talk to you tonight before we pray on the continuous flow of miracles past present and perpetually look at that again jesus christ the savior the same yesterday today and forever he saved the vilest of sinners yesterday he does that today and will continue doing it perpetually jesus christ the healer the same yesterday today and forever he healed the sick in the past is healing the sick in the present is doing it perpetually jesus christ the deliverer the same yesterday today and forever he had power to deliver from demon possession from insanity from evil powers in the past he does see today and he goes on doing it perpetually jesus christ the sanctifier the purifier the one that makes us holy righteous pure sanctified jesus christ sanctified yesterday today and forever jesus christ the redeemer he has redeemed us from the curse of the law he redeemed from the curse every curse coming from anyone coming from anywhere christ redeems from the curse he did it yesterday and today and forever jesus christ the provider all our needs he provides the says i am come that they might have life that they might have it abundantly jesus christ the provider the same yesterday and today and forever jesus our shepherd the lord is my shepherd 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. The same yesterday, today, and forever. He leads me in the path of righteousness. The same. And he restores my soul. He prepares a table before me. And though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because... He is with me, Jesus Christ, the ever present and the ever powerful one, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his rod and staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head and my cup runs over and you still the same yesterday today and forever surely now goodness and mercy will have to follow me all the days of my life why because of the shepherd that says i'll never leave you i'll never forsake you you have been at the crusade from the first day until this final day because it's the same yesterday today and forever that's why we'll have the continuous flow of miracles as it was in the past and so in the present and so in the future perpetually and now i say i declare that i will dwell and live with him forever and ever all the days of your life in jesus name continuous flow miracle flowing in your life the fountain has been opened and miracle power is going to keep on flowing in your life until we meet at the feet of jesus and he says welcome miracle of all miracles he'll open the door and the gate of heaven and you will go in and live forever in heaven in jesus name Amen. we're dividing the message to three parts very simple today past number one present number two perpetual number three past faith for great miracles past faith the people that went before us they had miracles and they were great miracles because of the past faith number two is the present frequency of greater miracles the present frequency it comes it comes it comes and then the frequency is it's the present frequency of greater miracles. Great, number one. Greater, number two. Number three, perpetual flow of the greatest miracles. Greatest miracles. I want to assure you, as you take to heart everything we've learned, everything we've heard, and you have received miracle here, that miracle will not stop. I said the flow of miracle in your life will not stop in Jesus' name. Salvation, miracle, it will go along with you. Healing, miracle, it will go forth with you. Deliverance, miracle, it will go forth with you. And the supply of all your desires it will go on and on in your life in jesus name final day in lusaka let me carry your amen away from lusaka and it will be ringing in my ears all the days ahead in jesus name look at number one number one is the past but not passing look at that the past but not passing of faith for great 
miracles. We're looking at Job chapter 9, verse 10. Job chapter 9, reading from verse 10. Which doeth great things past finding out, yea, wonders without number. The men of God, the women of God, the testifiers of the past. That's what he said. And this one collects together everything that Moses could have said. This collects together the testimony that Abraham could have given. This word, this verse here is a verse Caleb could have told you and this is something Joshua could have said all the people of the past with one voice they unite together and they say the God will serve and the God you have now come to serve is the God that doeth not only really that he did he doeth great things past finding out unsearchable incredible impossible with man this is the god and he says i am god i change not past present future perpetually he is the god and he changes not and he doeth great things saving souls healing the sick delivering the oppressed bringing water out of the rock making a way where there was no way and dividing the red sea it is the god that doeth great things giving victory to his people triumph to his people power to his people and releasing his people as moses came let my son go and they will serve me and nothing became impossible before them which doeth great things past finding out yea and wonders without number wonders for you wonders for her wonders for you there wonders for you there and wonders for you in front of me in jesus name wonders without number without number without number and today is going to manifest what he did in the past which he does in the at the present and which he will continue to do even after we see the final amen at this crusade and we say bye bye for now we'll come back again if jesus tarries between now and then miracles in your life every day yeah. uh, look at look at Hosea, chapter 12 verse 13 Hosea, chapter 12 verse 13 hold this in your heart and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. The same power that brings you out of sin, that's the same power that preserves you in salvation. The same power that heals you, that's the same power that keeps you in health. The same power that brings deliverance to you is the same power that keeps you always in dominion. The same prophet having the miracle power, being a channel of the Lord to convey him miracle to your life if by the same prophet you are preserved in the miracle it's the same word the word coming from heaven the revelation coming from heaven that sets you free that same revelation keeps you free how do we have the continuity of the miracle of the salvation of the healing of the deliverance of the dominion of the provision that we have got that the past is carried on to the present and the present to the perpetual because 
the word from the representative of God. And the prophet was representative of God. And the word came out from him. That word brought Israel out of captivity. And the prophet, the representative, the word, the revelation coming from that same representative of God was the thing that preserved them. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will keep you. No judge or title of the promise of God will fail in your life. What he did on Monday, he did on Tuesday, and he did on the other days, and from today, power will continue to flow in your life. Performance will continue to be realized in your life in Jesus' name. Past, but not passing, faith for great miracles. Let's look at number two. Number two, we're looking at present, but not preventable, not stoppable, cannot cease. It will go on. Present, but not preventable frequency of greater greater miracles understand god is not a backward god god is not a god a weakened god that what he did yesterday oh sorry it should have come yesterday if you had come yesterday, God was powerful yesterday. But you know now, witness has come. Understand, he is the ancient of days. And because he's been on and on, working miracles, ancient of days, all these many years, now you are coming today, sorry, never heaven does not have the word sorry actually when you come today what he does today will be greater than what he did yesterday yeah. why is it because it becomes more powerful not really it's full of power every time and he has the overflowing power every time but you know what the population of the world is increasing and because of the increase in population there is increase of problem increase of pain increase of peculiar plagues increase of sicknesses the sicknesses that were not there yesterday 10 years ago a decade ago a century ago the sicknesses that were not there they are there now that's the reason why when you come today you have a greater manifestation of miracles not because god has changed not because god is becoming greater it's always great it's always uh, powerful it's always mighty and it's always the most high but because the problems of the world have increased so it now manifests a power that looks like something greater 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 is taking place and for you tonight even if you do not have all uh, if you do if you have a problem that wasn't recorded before the problems of today god is able and god is capable it will solve your problem it will solve my problem you understand a sinner the sins of today are greater than the sins of the past look at the drug addiction that people have today all those things were not known far back centuries and look at all the things that happen today that terrorize you today they were not there before but you see the problems of today the lord will take away the sin of today the lord will forgive and pardon the sickness of today the lord will heal and take away and the the, the demonized situation of today the lord will set you free 
it will set me free it will set me free let me quickly tell you something before I you know read this verse when somebody has a problem somebody in Exodus has a problem and he wants to have assurance whether he will be healed or delivered or set free he says here hey, I'm in Exodus and I'm going to check up in Genesis whether a problem like this was in Genesis and God dealt with it then I will know that me now in Exodus I will know that God will solve my problem my friend check up as long as as you want you'll not find the red sea to be divided you'll not find it in genesis it's not there times have moved and now greater check up no matter how long you search and read you will not find a rock that brings out water in Genesis. So if you are waiting, I want to know what happened in the past. If I can see that in the past, then I will know. Now at my time in Exodus, I will know that will be done. Times have changed. The problems of Exodus are greater and higher than the problems in Genesis and the problems of the present day they are greater and higher than the problems of the past but our God is able your God is able whether it happened before it did not happen before solution miracle greater miracle has come today for you look at John chapter 14 verse 12 verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do he shall do also the works that i do he shall do also every miracle jesus performed in matthew mark luke and john every miracle he performed then can be done today i said it will be done today blind eyes opened in matthew in the past it will happen in the present time and the lunatic in mark chapter 5 cutting himself and nobody could tame him he was delivered then you are delivered tonight in jesus name look at those 10 lepers coming in luke and when jesus said go show yourself to the priest at the way they were cleared they were cleansed they were healed it happened then in the past it will happen today look at the man in john for 38 years he had been there waiting for the moving of the waters so that he'll jump in and be healed and jesus said wilt thou be healed and eventually jesus said rise up take up your bed and walk and the man rose up as it happened at that time to the present hour it will happen look at this he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he also do and greater works than these greater works than these because greater problems have come all over the world at that time there was no record of hiv aids but now it came at that time there was no covid that even with the vaccination people still had problems and yet now those things have come that's what he meant because the problems become greater and the pain becomes greater and the situation becomes different and greater because of that it says greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father greater miracle will happen to you today
if you carry a heavier load a greater load that all the powers on earth and all the provision on earth could not solve for you solution is here tonight your healing is here tonight the power of god for you is here tonight look at verse 13 in verse 13 and whatsoever ye shall ask whatsoever ye shall ask it was the world of that time and the population of jerusalem at that time roughly to 50,000 one quarter of a million or maybe a little above that and he said whatsoever you shall ask now the population of the major cities of the world some of them 20 million some of them 5 million higher and greater than the population of that time and the same promise is still saying uh, whatsoever to 2,000 um, to 200,000 people whatsoever to 1 million people whatsoever to 20 million people whatsoever to 100 million people whatsoever whatsoever you shall ask in my name the point I'm making is a little population having moderate problem whatever they ask the lord will solve the problem a greater population a more populous uh, you know a uh, generation whatever they ask it will be done you need to understand then that we're going from great to greater and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that name covers every challenge every situation every problem every sin every sickness every infirmity whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son look at verse 14 if ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it what an open check that now anything you ask are you going to ask for something tonight i said are you going to ask for something tonight please do and the lord said he will do it tonight is a night of performance it's a night of power it's a night when god will listen to you in particular salvation has come for you freedom has come for you forgiveness has come for you power has come for you and if you are sick of course you are healed tonight Look, if ye shall ask anything, if ye shall ask anything, healing, deliverance, freedom, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Is Jesus a liar? Can Jesus lie? Can Jesus deceive us? No. He has the power and he said i will do it for who i will do it for who for you there tonight your miracle time has now come look at number three number three we're looking at perpetual yet not peculiar perpetual yet not peculiar that is when god works miracle he does that perpetually it's not like on a lucky day i happened to jam a miracle on a lucky day nothing like that every day is acceptable this is the acceptable time is the day of salvation is the day of healing and deliverance perpetual flow of the greatest miracles perpetual flow 
of the greatest miracles everything you have heard you've been hearing about uh, testimonies and you know the first time i came to zambia 1989 first time i've been coming 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 since then but that first time or why not in the stadium but on the field and there was an 80 year old man that had eyes blind and that had elephant tears since the two legs were big and so i said we're going to pray and i said bow your head close your eyes and there were people there that said this man coming from nigeria telling us to close our eyes we will not close our eyes i didn't know they told me later and i said we're going to pray now and as we pray the power of god will come upon you and these uh, people that opened their eyes they located a man an old man, 80 year old man, whose legs were big like the legs of an elephant. That's why they call that disease elephantiasis. And at the same time, he was blind. And so I said, Now lay your hand where you have the problem and raise up the other hand. And we prayed. And I mentioned in Jesus' name. And Lusaka said, Amen. Lo and behold, those people that opened their eyes and they looked at the man, the elephant here the big legs went down to normal like you deflate a balloon. That's great. That's good. Clap if you are going to clap. Praise the Lord. And then the blind eyes got open old man he rose up he said look at my leg and look at my eyes now i can't see that was 34 years ago and since that time i've been going to many countries i've been coming over here and the same power has remained and it is still flowing and the river of miracle will flow to you right there in Jesus' name. Over there, it's flowing tonight. It will flow to you in Jesus' name. All the trouble in your brain, all the trouble in your heart, all the trouble in your body, and all the trouble will sit and unseen. Everything will flow away tonight. Because we are told in Second Peter chapter chapter 3 2nd Peter chapter 3 and I'm reading there from verse 9 in verse 9 it says the Lord is not slack the Lord is not weak the Lord has not forgotten he has not forgotten his promise that he made to us the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us word not willing that any should perish he wants everyone saved not willing that any should die prematurely he wants everyone healed not willing that anyone's life will be terminated by satan he wants everyone delivered not willing that anybody will die of hunger he makes provision for everyone he's not willing that anyone should perish but that all look at that all everyone all say all i am part of that all i will not die before my time i will not perish i will not go to hell i am mad for heaven and it will take me there and he will take me there he will take me there how do i know because it's not willing that any should perish but that all shall come to repentance and tonight 
anyone who comes already he has told you is not willing that you perish is not willing that you go to the other side is not willing that satan sickness sin will conquer your life he wants all to come to repentance all to come to restoration all to come to regeneration all to come to redemption and it is for you tonight salvation for you where are you i said where are you if you've got it god will keep that salvation in your life in jesus name if you have not got it yet that's why this final day is still there he will save you he will forgive you it will turn your life around for the better and people who have been looking at you that you know you're always sorrowful you're always sad because you are sick and because of that pain and because of that problem congratulations tonight all those pains and whatever you are born all these many years tonight you come to restoration and you come to repentance in jesus name and that spirit of death that is trying to follow after you tonight spirit of death don't follow this man again don't follow this woman again he now has become a child of god and as you walk he will never catch up with you evil will never catch up with you and destruction will never catch up with you and you will not be partner to somebody who has decided he wants to die you will not carry another person's death because god is not weak and god is not slack and god is not forgetful concerning his promise as some men count slackness or they count delay or they count weakness but it's long suffering to us world he's been thinking about us he said come you didn't come did god get angry no it's long suffering he said repent and that time how many years now you didn't repent is god angry no he's long suffering toward you not willing that you should perish but that all shall come to repentance tonight the lord is calling you again tonight the lord is saying i've been waiting for a long time to give you salvation and it's the last day of this September GCK 2023. Why will you hold back again? You're going to get your salvation right now. Your forgiveness right now. And your restoration into the presence of God. You're going to get it right now in Jesus' name. Are you there? Salvation is there for you too. I said, are you there? It's about and eyes closed it's about and eyes closed once again the message you have heard once again the offer you have seen once again the grace is presented once again life eternal is presented unto you online over the radio over the television once again you have heard now he says come believing come believing salvation ready for you come believing come believing forgiveness freedom available now and it will take away all the guilt all the condemnation you have heard come believing as we're believing tonight wherever you are raise up your hand salvation is the gift of god and he gives it to whosoever will come unto him where are you raise up that hand i want forgiveness permanent forgiveness this final day i want freedom from the chains of my sin
and the Lord breaks the fetters and he breaks the yoke of sin and sinfulness and all he asks, where are you? Raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up so that you have that forgiveness that has been waiting for you for a long time. It is long suffering. And he says, come now. Tomorrow may be too late. Come. Raise up that hand. Stand up anywhere you are. The mercy of God that brings us to repentance is coming to you right now. As we are standing up, tell the Lord, Lord, I heard your call. Lord, I heard about your love for me. You don't want me to perish. And you create and you make a way for me to have eternal life. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. There's no doubt in your heart. Will he save me if the one that called you? He wouldn't call you if he didn't want to save you. Will he forgive me? Of course, he'll forgive you. He wouldn't call you. He wouldn't be waiting for you. And he wouldn't say he doesn't want you to perish if he would not forgive you. Of course, he'll forgive you. You raise up your hand and you stand up. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your call. We thank you for your love. And we thank you of you because of your outstretched arms that whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. I pray your salvation comes to everyone accepting and receiving now in Jesus' name. Give them forgiveness. Give them freedom break the chain the shackles of sin the fetters of sin away from their lives in jesus name thank you lord they are saved thank you lord they now have forgiveness thank you lord they have eternal life thank you lord they will not perish say i will not perish in jesus name we pray it is done stand keep on standing we call on our officiating minister moderating office um overseer uh, to come now and lead us in this session and then we'll come back to give a prayer for that assured accredited healing in your life Amen. Please, our counselors, let's swing into action. Let's quickly attend to all those who have just given their lives to Christ. Let's fill the forms in capital letters. Every detail should be filled carefully and correctly. As we are doing it over here at the Alpha location, in every other location, please, let's give this the attention it deserves. This is very, very, very important. Those who are online, if as a family you are connected through any social media and do or you are listening over the radio or on TV those of us who are listening on TV or via any social media and do as you look at the screen you see a link that you can connect to and then fill in all the needed details this is to help us to follow you up appropriately Please ensure you fill in all the needed details. Those of us who are born again, remember this is the last night. Please spend this time in prayer. 
seeking the face of the Lord and trusting the Lord for a mighty visitation. The power of the Lord is going to touch you in an unusual manner tonight. The great day, the last day. If any man thirsts, let him come and drink. You will be saturated. Bow your head and talk to the Lord. Be specific. What exactly do you want the Lord to do for you? The anointing that breaks the yoke is operating already. Just connect. Just connect. Don't forget on Sunday, globally, we have the Converts Rally. Sunday, 1st of October. Please, let's ensure all those who are given their lives to Christ in the course of this crusade that we participate in that program. It's very, very, very important. Counselors, we are waiting for you. Once you are through, just indicate. Please, Pray and prepare. This last night is the greatest night of all. Whatever is left to be done, the Lord is about to do it for you. God will do his part. You should do your part. When you call unto him and he delivers you, do not hesitate to glorify him by coming out to testify. Are you praying? Your story is about to change. When you receive a miracle, everything changes. We were told about blind Bartimaeus. When he received his miracle, his location changed. He didn't sit down there to beg anymore. He had to leave that location and go back home properly. His condition changed. His description changed. He could no longer be called blind Bartimaeus because he was no longer blind. His situation change. Everything about you is about to change. Apostolic authority and anointing will soon be released through the prayer that is coming shortly. Prepare, connect to collect. Globally, this is the moment of prayer. This is the last night of the crusade. There is no doubt that the anointing is flowing. There is no doubt that the power of God is working. There is no doubt that the Spirit of God is moving. There is current power in the socket, but you must plug in. You must plug in. Don't stay aloof. I'm just waiting for the prayer to end so that I can go. No! You are here on purpose. There is something in your life that can become a testimony tonight. Even those of us who are workers, leaders, pastors, don't miss your chance. Please pray, connect, so as to collect. Counselors, we are waiting for you. Once you are through, indicate. The stage is set. The angels with parcels and packages with your names written on them are all around. You will not miss your own blessing. There is no issue of whether or not God will answer prayer. He always does. In the ministry of his anointed servant, our Father in the Lord, the testimonies are so, so, so many. And you are right here. Don't say, I wish I were at the Alpha location. As you have seen the servant of the Most High God on that screen, you are connected. Believe as a prayer is offered tonight. 
Tonight is your night. No doubt about that. There are not enough demons in hell to stop your blessings. Pray. Prepare. Believe. And you'll receive. But remember, make up your mind to testify. When you come out to testify, you are putting the devil to shame. You are giving the glory back to God. And you are encouraging others to believe. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? We were taught there in chapter 5 of Mark, as she taught the hem of the garment of the Lord that she was healed, others had that testimony and were shown in the following chapter, chapter 6. So many people also touched. Our testimony triggered a lot of things. That's why you need to come out and share testimony. Cancel us, please. We are waiting for you. Let's be very thorough. I hope you remember the message, the miracle of sight for the blind. Blind Bartimaeus said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Receive. What's the significance? The Lord has given already. Yours is to receive. And then we are told, after the prayer or the declaration of Christ, in the next verse, he received his sight immediately. Yours is to receive tonight. Yours is just to receive. Receive the blessing. Receive the healing. Receive the miracle. See the simplicity. Just to connect and to receive. He's been released. He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. The servant of the Lord is loaded. Mightily, strongly, heavily anointed. Every pronouncement tonight, there will be confirmation. You are a ready recipient. Connect. Cancel us, please. We are waiting for you. Once you are through, let us know. We are waiting for the signal. Please wave the flag. The stage is set. Your blessing is guaranteed. Yours is a miracle tonight. Please cancel us. We are waiting. Thank you. We are still waiting. Praise the Lord. Let's all rise up now as we receive our Father in the Lord. The miracle is here already. Everybody praise the Lord. It's not the will of God that you continue to suffer. His will, his desire, his expectation is that you receive your healing tonight. You receive your miracle tonight is a faithful God and you are a faith person and as your faith is based on his faithfulness you are going to receive what you are asking for in Jesus name he loves you specially and he doesn't want those tears to continue that pain to continue. Your will be healed tonight. Amen. You will receive the miracle tonight. Amen. Remember, whatsoever we ask, in the name of Jesus, he said, he will do it. Amen. When will he do it? Now. now, God bless you. Raise up your hand. Lay your hand where you have the challenge now, at the time of your miracle. And actually have active faith, so that at the final amen, active faith will act, act out the miracle. Father, 